Welcome back to another fabulous Wednesday video. We'll be doing some random wiki hows. Today, we're gonna learn how to make a tea party for toys. Yes, there's a wiki how on just about everything. So it's good that um, helping your child to host a tea party, a delightful a childhood is helping you host a tea party for your toys, whether it's your child's teddy bear or a tea party for dolls of all sizes and ages, or a gathering of mostly assorted toys, dolls, and friends. Holding a tea party for toys can be a lot of fun for your child, and you too. What the heck is this? <laughs> all right, let's see, let's see. Okay, number one, ask your child who wants to come to the party. Knowing which toys will invite will help you decide the theme. Okay, for example, this is just to help your child host a tea party. Are you kidding? Why is there a wiki how for this? The party can be tailored to the type of dolls. While if it's a teddy bear, the standard teddy bear picnic would be a fun thing to do. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I would have never guessed this. Okay, ask your child what sort of tea party he or she would enjoy. This is the theme, and it might be helpful to suggest ideas to your child because your child doesn't know how to think. Some things could possibly be like tea bear picnic, a Barbie afternoon tea, oh yeah, or a garden party for dolls and stuffed toys, a skeleton chair, a <laughs> cream ID. What is this? <laughs> I was joking. I didn't think I'd actually find something like this. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at the tea party. He's got little crappy grapes and all right so if either you have real or fake food if you have a lot of time you have to have real food this could also include some baking together oh this is so nice even more fun if making cookie shaped toys such as a teddy bear and... <laughs> okay all right all right okay if we go with the food all right and then next we obviously set up the tea party easy easy okay choose a substitute spot find a near you can use a doll tea set or real cups. Ooh, depending on what you have at home. Ooh, look at those. <laughs> they can be washed before and after use and be reused again and again. So the table, add glasses. Why is there a wiki how for this? Just why? Oh, look at that. Little tea party with the... Looks like Tony the Tiger in the background. Start with the tea party. It's up to you whether or not you participate. Gauge your child's wishes. If she or she asks you to join in, then by all means, do so. That's right. I'm, I'm teaching this to the parents. That's right. You're going to be parents one day. you got to know this. Your child may wish to ask over a real friend or two. They can bring their own toys along to the people. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I would have not guessed that. Take photos. This sort of thing is wonderful memories. <laughs> what is this? All right. Okay. Clean up afterward. Okay, this is an important part of your child's learning to put things away and clean things. If real food was consumed, show that your child has to clear away the crumbs, clean the plates, everything. Really... Wow, guys, you know what? Now I know how to help my child host a tea party. And I've got a little tear in my eye. Thank you, Wiki. I, I would have just never guessed. Set up your own tea party. Ooh, oh, this is for me. Okay, all right. We got Tigger here. Um, it might be your favorite toy or some other toy. Uh... This is my toy, okay. We're gonna follow the instructions here. Um, I got like a chair and, okay, all right, all right, what's the next step? Because um, I can't do this by myself and I can't just have my own imagination. Um, choose the guest next, choose toys, various size and types, even mix dolls and stuffed animals, they won't mind. Well, my phone wants to be by itself, but uh, I got this, maybe the pan and the phone, sure, all right. Let's set that up. Okay, so I chose my toys, my phone, and uh, my pan that I eat macaroni and cheese every day with. Okay, decide on the food for the tea party. Ooh. Okay, I got macaroni and cheese in the pot, so sure, we'll just go with that. If you have such a, otherwise you could cut out magazine <laughs> pictures of food. <laughs> okay, let's do that right now. Uh, pizza. Whoops, not Pizza Hut, my bad. Pizza. Okay, pizza, images, there we go, okay, um, we got our fake pizza here, okay, uh, uh, go to open image, where's open, okay, there we go, yeah, that's right, you thought YouTube took away that privilege, no, you can still get it, alright, so there's my fake pizza, 
Okay. Probably should have gone with, like, girly stuff. I'm sorry. I'm a guy. I didn't even think about that. All right. So what's next? What's next? Okay. Set up the table. Use little little table if you have one. If you don't have one, make one from a box. It turned upside down with a cloth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I got my table. Sorry. I got my table. Okay. Set the table. Put the plastic toys, teacups. Okay. All right, and then decorate the area of your tea party. Maybe add a balloon. Why? Look, this is all I need. It's just this. You place it down, and there you go. Tea party. Simple enough. Bring your own guests to the tea party. How do you, how do your guests travel? By flying, horse-drawn carriage, car, or on foot? It's up to you. Well, my phone came over uh, the car, so... Let's just say car. Okay, place it down. You came through a car. I, I, apparently, that's really important uh, information. Okay, start the tea party. Have fun with the toys. Make sure they all get some drink and have a good chat with you. All right, all right. Let's do this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to scrap it off. Okay, here's some macaroni. Oh, there we go. And hey, yay! Is that it? That's it, guys! We did it! I'm sorry, I was going to dance to, like, Dora or something, but... Um, you probably don't want to see that. WikiHow. Annoy your sister. Yes! I thought this was a joke, but apparently there's a WikiHow for every little thing, so that must mean people make these. Playing practical jokes. All right. Sneak into her room and take something. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. Okay. Sneak into her room and take something really important, like her iPod or her favorite pair of earrings or a stuffed animal that she sleeps with every night. Oh, no. What you front you? Now you took it. You should practice your innocent face before. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to pretend this is her phone. Uh, uh, David, did you, did you, um, did you take my, my phone? No, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You can also pretend to be really offended that she'd accuse you. Okay, all right, I'll try that. How dare you, you tell me that? Why? Why would you accuse me? It's not me. Make sure that the items win well in case she decides to search your room for it. Then when she's out of the house, put the item back in good. <laughs> oh, dude, the WikiHow is way too destructive. Please do not use WikiHow for your everyday life. All right. To hide her clothes. Everyone knows how much girls love their clothes. Not my sister. So what a better way to annoy your sister than hide them all. When she's out of the house, sneak into her room with a big bag and dump all of her clothes inside. Hide them somewhere so she so she won't think to look for them, like the bathtub or a garden shed. She'll probably freak out when she sees the wardrobe's empty, so have a good excuse prepared. T try telling her that mom said she had too many clothes and give them all the way to charity. <laughs> However, draw the line at hiding or vandalizing your sister's prom dress, wedding dress, or any clothes that are important to her. This is just your commitment to her by dead grandmother. <laughs> They're like, you know, tell down a little bit with this. Like, let's not, let's not go too far into this. Uh, sorry, that was a video for yesterday. I don't know why the heck that's still up. Ignore that. Okay, um, next one, scare her. There is nothing more satisfying than giving your good sister a good scare. Okay, so out of the three so far, I've never taken anything of hers like a value. I've never done something like that. I've never hit her clothes because my sister never really into clothes, anyways, which is kind of funny. It's just, kind of, it's just uh, whatever. Anyways, scare her. I've done this. But let's see what they tell you to actually do. There's nothing more satisfying than giving your sister a good scare, especially if she screams. Plan your attack carefully. Lie in wait for her in the dark room, behind her bedroom door, behind the shower curtain, the bathroom. What the heck? She comes up to us. Either scream at the top of your lungs or creep up behind her and grab her. Both can really be effective. <laughs> for 
added effect, try wearing a scary clown mask and brandish a fake knife. Wow. Cool. Thank you, WikiHow. Could you... <laughs> oh. All right, cover her room with toilet paper. Cool. Okay, another great practical joke. Grab a roll from bed and just go crazy. <laughs> Hanging on the ceiling wall when you cover a bed file of stuff, put it in the bed. If you want to get really creative, soak some of it and throw it at her walls. Oh, who do this? Just be warned that if your parents find out, you'll probably be the one who has to clean up, so don't come too crazy. <laughs> oh, just don't do that. Oh, I'm just glad I did one of these. Pretend she hurt you. Oh. This must be for like a little brother because I cannot play the I can't play the victim game. You know how many times my siblings play the victim game all the time. Get your sister in trouble with your parents by pretending that she hurt you, either physically or emotionally, just before they walk into the room. Lie down on the sister and cry out as if in pain. When your parents ask what's wrong, tell them she pushed you. <laughs> oh, this is kind of like do how to annoy your brother, older brother. Oh. I have nine of them, and they did similar stuff to this. Pinch your old arm so it leaves a red mark. Then tell your parents that you, <laughs> they'll never believe that you intentionally hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell your parents, sister, you call them stupid or ugly so that you have no friends. That means the, the meaner the better. She won't be able to prove you made it up. <laughs> Dude, I got, okay, I got so many timeouts as a kid from my sister because she just, oh my gosh. Manipulation, man. This is why I can't believe kids. I mean, they usually don't lie, but like, dang, that is annoying. Okay, what's this one? Hmm, I've had this happen to me. Annoy her while she's sleeping. Annoy your sister when she's sleeping, so easy to do. This is a pretty hilarious result. One of the best practical jokes is you play squirt shaving foam or whipped cream into her hair and then tickle her nose. Okay. Try walking over in the middle of the night. Wake her up in some annoying way, like jumping on her bed or poking her face. Tell her it's 8.30 a.m. She's for school. If she's really clever, you'll change the time on her alarm clock as well. Hopefully she'll get up in a panic and start getting dressed. Even though it's really 5 a.m. Oh, that's, I, okay, my brother and sister were that bad. <laughs> Throw water balloons at her. Water balloons are perfect to bug your sister so she gets her hair wet. Get her, oh, this is mean. Lie with your sister somewhere outdoors or your parents will kill you. And when she comes to attack, we'll throw love. It's funny if you wait until she's sent a bunch of friends in the garden or hanging out with her boyfriend. Be warned, though. Soaking her with water balloons is sure to make her see red. <laughs> so run away as fast as you can after her. It's like, yeah, once you do this, you're going to get screwed. Turn off the light when she's in the bathroom. Have you ever been sitting on the toilet when someone accidentally turned off the light in the bathroom? Not fun, is it? What? She's hogging the bathroom. <laughs> okay. If you can, try locking the bathroom door from the outside, leaving her stuck in the dark. Don't leave her in there for too long, though. Have mercy. <laughs> it's like, do this, but don't. If your sister leaves the bathroom door unlocked while she's in the shower, you can also try sneaking in flush in the toilet. Sometimes this will turn the shower water cold, which you'll hate. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, how many are there? Okay. Alright, alright, we're almost done. I was like, I don't want this video to be way too long. <laughs> That's why I was looking ahead. I might do the second part after this um, on another video, of course, sometime next week. Uh, let's see here. Mess with her food and drink. Mess with her sister's food and drink. Once, <laughs> If you're sitting at the kitchen table and she has a glass of water or soda in front of her, point out the window and say, look. And when she turns around, tell her she just spat. Just tell her you just spat her a drink. You don't actually need to spit her a drink. Just say you did. She'll be so disgusted that she'll have to pour the drink out of the sink. That's so mean. Uh. If your sister is eating something tasty like a muffin or a bar of chocolate, try grabbing it really quick and licking it all over. She'd be gross. Oh, that's so mean. 
If your sister's drinking a can of soda, wait till she puts it down somewhere and leaves the room. Then very quickly pour the rest of her soda down the drain and fill the can with milk or some drink she hates instead. <laughs> when she comes back and takes a drink, she'll be French with the shit out of the can. <laughs> if you want to be real... Oh, no. We, we weren't even getting there yet. No, no, no. We're getting meaner. If you want to be really mean, you can put something like a soy sauce or juice from the pickle jar into the can instead. Oh, my gosh. Send her messages from her phone. Her sister probably always has her phone in her hand, so it might be tricky to pull this one off. But if you can manage to steal her phone somehow, this would be the best prank call. All you had to do is go somewhere private to do your mission. Look through her phone book, the names of boys in her class, and send them all a message like, I have a massive crush on you. Want to go on a date Friday night? Your sister really like, more <laughs> You got all the message a few of her best friends saying something like, I'm so mad at you right now. I'm telling everyone your secret. Be careful with this one, though. You might end up starting a major gap. <laughs> if your sister has a smartphone, try logging in to her Facebook or Instagram gram. <laughs> You probably will be able to. Take a picture of yourself and post it on a wall saying something like, I had the best brother and sister in the world. I love her so much. Your sister go crazy. <laughs> now that's, that's humor I can get behind. That's hilarious. All right, next last one. Make a splash. Get electric tape, duct tape, or scotch tape. Stick a piece under the faucet. Leave a small part towards the front of the faucet and uncover. Make sure no tape is showing. This has happened to me. When your sister turns into the faucet, the water will spray up or into her. And she'll get soaked and you'll crack it. That actually happened on water. You know, I could have put that also in that bully story that I made a long time ago. Uh, we're just going to end the video, but I just wanted to say what people did was put gum under it and make it like just barely squirt out. So sometimes when I go get a drink of water, it just splash into my face. It'd be like, <sighs> it was the worst. It happened all the time in school. Then they banned gum, but I mean, people still hate gum. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another wiki how. Um, leave it a comment below if you find any wiki hows that I should definitely look at because these are hilarious. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday, hopefully. Um, if you don't see you guys next Wednesday, it's because school is really taking over and I just don't have the time and I'm exhausted and all that stuff. But otherwise, if I have time, like I do this week, so don't worry. I'll get to it eventually. Thank you. See you later. Bye.